Okay. Good day to everybody. So as promised, I'm going to create a video for uh, the mail merge since it didn't work last time. I actually got a bag to my Microsoft Office, so I have to reinstall it. Okay, so let's continue or let's try to check what we've been doing. So actually, this is what uh, uh, an example of a mail merge that I have done. So sending students their username and passwords in case they need to do an exam. So in this uh, example is uh, for students who will do the placement exam. Or direct entry exam, so that's an example. OK, but I have shown you before. Let me just close this and just save this. OK, so I have shown you before that the prerequisite of this is to have your Microsoft Excel ready, OK, with columns and with the heading. Heading is very important, OK, for you to identify the data, OK, that or the fields you're going to use later on. OK, so this one I prepared, so student ID number, so you have names of your student, uh, quiz one, quiz two, and their email address. So this is basic. Let me close that. So of course, it must be closed for you to call it later on uh in a mail merge so you have to use microsoft word uh mail word and x in your outlook which which is your email okay so let's have a bl blank document okay so that's it and we're gonna go for mailings okay the tab mailings Start main merge and then email messages. So this is where we left off last time. Then select recipients. I'm going to select now the Excel file that I prepared earlier. Use an existing list. Uh, documents, do you reach 21? And that's it. OK, select table now you have different worksheets. You just uh, select the worksheet that you want. So in this case, I only have one worksheet on that um, on that gradebook or sample Excel file. So I click worksheet this one, press OK, and now it's ready. You can see that all of the things here is activated. Uh, you can edit the recipient list later if you uh, think that was uh, uh, incorrect or maybe you want to change it. But this is just the first one. So for example, I want to email the student. So dear, uh, so a little salutation there. And then address black. OK, so we start with the name. So this is the name. Letter A is the name of the student. So automatically he will see that. So but if you have a doubt, this is the not the name of uh, the person I want or those students that I want to email. So I can see, as you can see, I have six names before in my Excel file. So while you're working here, uh, since you already merged them or you already called that file, that means they are already linked. So you cannot uh, you cannot open the Excel file that you did before. You can open that as a read only. OK, if you want to change something on that Excel file, it will not be effective immediately. So you have to when you want to change, you open the file. You change it, you save this as, but later on it's not going to be acknowledged here. So you have to change the recipient list again. So that's that's how it works. So whatever uh, you did, my suggestion is to make it final already, your Excel file, before you do the main merging. Anyway, this is the example. So you can change if you have a first name, last name, and so on. This is the fields. You can click on the match fields here. OK, you can see here first name and last name. So here I am uh, trying to. Uh, my 
greeting fields is dear and then uh, the name of the students you can see here the others doesn't have it says not much you did you don't need that uh, i am calling the last name as name so dear example is joshua randall but in my excel file is f or a b c d a f so those are the names of the student uh, but in the previous microsoft word uh, example that i've shown you you see that it's a complete name dear mariam something like this okay but in my excel file right now that i call this just the name is letter a b c d e f so anyway let's proceed so if you want to change that okay it's not the name that i want to call so maybe it's the student id number okay so press okay here you can see that it is now the student id number okay so but in our discussion let's just stick with the name press OK, press OK. So this is now the address block. So to make it uh, more of a letter, OK, so letter format, give a comment. OK, so your course on the following are quiz one, so I'm preparing first my message. Okay, then I'll give the score later on. And then maybe total if you have, but I only have quiz one and quiz two. So maybe later on you can add that. And then satisfaction regards or when. So quiz one, I'm putting it here. Okay, so of course, let's say here. it here one tab and the score will be here okay you can have another space so it will yeah okay now you are in this space quiz one you have to call that field so in that field you have to click insert merge field so i'm done huh? after address block i already skip greeting line i don't need that uh, so i'll jo just go directly because i type your scores are on the following are quiz one, quiz two. So this is already my message, okay? Now what I will distribute to this, this student, this following student will be here, okay? So since you are having a column, okay? This is the name of the student, then corresponding to that, okay? What is this quiz one, quiz two, and what is this details, email address. So later I'm going to show you how it will look like. So quiz one, insert merge field. I'm going to go for quiz one. And then I'll go here, tab, and then insert merge field, quiz two. So as you can see, the symbol here, okay, that means this is a field, okay, wherein Word will fetch your data, okay, whatever, quiz one and quiz two. This is now your heading, okay, so if you can remember. Now, to make it a little bit emphasized, highlight this, go to Home tab, and format it. Bold, that's it. Quiz 1, bold, make it a little bit bigger. Quiz 2, bold, and then again a little bit bigger. So I have here, that's the basic. If I go back to mailing tabs, that's where I have to be to preview the results. You can see here. Okay, I started with the sixth on the list. So, but of course you can take this and see one by one. So you can see, dear A, your scores in the following are quiz 121, quiz 212. And then usually I don't uh, really scroll on because I have uh, a lot of uh, entry on the Excel. So I just usually go on, uh, on the first one and see, okay, the first one is A, this is correct, the, his grade is correct, most likely, and go to the last record. So I can say, okay, the last record. So most likely it's correct. I don't have error here. 
Uh, if there is error, he will give you error already. Now, last step is to finish and merge. So you're going to email the student, so e send email messages, okay? So two is the email address. Of course, that's where you're going to select. Okay, and then put the subject line. Don't change the mail format. Okay, and let's say grades. That's it. All and press OK. Okay, so once you press OK, uh, let me open again that existing file just to explain it to you. So this is the GL Bridge 21 that I use here. You can see that he will ask you open read only because you are already locked for editing when you call all that in the Microsoft Word. So let me just, just to for explanation, I will open this. So you can see here, so F is this boy with quiz 134, or I'm not, I'm just assuming it's a boy. Uh, 34 quiz one, 17 quiz one. Now, if I send the email, he will fetch the email address here. Okay, so this will be his email address. Automatically, the email will be sent. Um, so that's it. That's the basic requirement for a mail merge. So when I press OK, automatically he will send the email, although it, it, uh, it will not be sent to the correct person because those uh, email address are all manufactured by me. OK, so uh, that's it. That's it for mail merging. If you want to print, by the way, finish merge, print documents, all, press OK. Now you can see here, uh, I can either go directly to the printer, but as for, for the sake of uh, discussion, you can go to your printers directly. You will print all those papers, and then maybe you are on campus now with the students. You can distribute one by one if you want. But uh, yeah, for the sake of argument, I'll go for Microsoft Print, uh, not argument, sorry. For the sake of discussion, let me print by PDF. And yeah, Oops. it goes to documents again. Okay, so GU bridge So it's a PDF, huh? so you don't need to put anything. So save now. It is saved. Let's look for that file. It's here. Let's open it. Okay, so A, B, so this is the thing. You print that later on and distribute that to them. Okay, so that's one aspect of main merge. So I'll close it, this one. I'll close also my current Microsoft Word. So now that's done. So you can save this as template as I have done earlier, but this one I'm going to close it. Okay, done, I'm done. Now, I want to open now something for you. This is a template that I made, okay? But try to observe what will happen if I open a template. Now, he will ask you this. Opening this document will run the following SQL command, select from DEM 2020-17, data from your database will be placed in the document that you want to continue. So, he will. if you press yes here, he will, call the same uh, Excel file. So let's go to mailings. Okay, so it's, it's here, totally the same as before. Okay, but if you want to use the template to another, another Excel, let me just close this, don't save, and open it again. Now you're going to click no. Once you click now, the same file, okay, you go to mailings, I'm same, uh, uh, same words that you type or letters that you type, but everything is gone, okay, that means you have to start again. So start mail merge, email messages, you can now change this. So you can delete this, maybe you are going to use now a new Word uh, Excel file, so that's why we have to click you select recipients, use an existing list, okay, and select a new Excel file. So in that case, if I use my GU Bridge 21, okay, click Shift 1, okay, it's not there anymore. 
My username is pa and password fields not there anymore, so I have to delete this. Okay, and so on and so forth. So you can see uh, the last example that I did is because I opened a template. So you can use a template, use it uh, with another Excel file, but you have to change your fields. Okay, so by inserting merge field here and or is it in here you insert your address block. Okay, so something like again, A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, you can check match, match fields and then just do whatever I ask or I demonstrated earlier. So I think that's it for now. If you have a question, okay, if you have a question, you can contact me anytime. You know my email address, you know how to send me a message on WhatsApp or yeah. Uh, Microsoft Teams also. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.